hi team crown how on our day within they happen within the sub welcome back to our channel So guys, I got this new merch for you guys. For those of you that stays in UK, US, you can order anywhere you stay in Europe. I'm going to leave the link uh, for those of you that are interested or that want to support me. I'm going to leave the link in the description below or the comment section. And I got my little signature right there. Anyone you order, anyone, right? you will definitely have my signature on top of it that's it now um, i'm so happy to announce to you all that i will be going live with the actor pat atta here on youtube on friday 29th of this month by 5 p.m nigerian time i'm happy to finally have the opportunity to interview him he will also be there to answer your questions okay <laughs> moving on uh entertainment here we have whiskey and Thames. I suspect that Whiskey will be dropping the video to the song Essence featuring Thames. I'm looking forward to that by the way. Moving on to the next news. Here we have Whiskey baby mama Shola Ogudu. She finally shows off her fiance and i'm surprised of recent she's been you know ranting on social media she said that if happiness love peace and joy were humans there you have it finally she got a man okay um and this is the first time we're gonna be seeing her with another man apart from whiskey moving on to the next next news here we have tokema kinwa in the news tokema kinwa shows off her boyfriend, a new man, Atoyo is his name. The guy is uh, Shakiri. And guess what this guy does? is a fitness expert and businessman. First time we saw this guy was last year, right? Tokemakiwa just um, showed his hand and leg, you understand, covering his face. They were having fun in Turkey. Currently, Tokemakiwa is in Chelsea, London with this guy. And guys, didn't you notice that there's something that is consistent in Tokemakiwa's choice of a man? The business and the, you know, fitness experience. Part. The exos band was also um, a fitness um, expert and um, a businessman. So Tokemaki one got a thing for people like this. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. Here we have Davido, and everyone is talking about this. Davido and Chioma. They said mm, it seems like Davido and Chioma might be having problems or be going through a breakup. Nobody knows, right? But what made us, you know, suspect that that might be happening is this post, right? Somebody posted if his name starts with a J or D, it ain't shit. And Chioma liked the comment. So people are saying, come on, Davido's name start with D. So what is Choma trying to say? Uh, is she trying to break up with Davido? Well, like I said, we don't know. Still on Davido here, we have Kubana Chief Priest. You know, Kubana Chief Priest is a friend of Davido and also a big fan of Davido. Posted recently saying, the reason why your fifths run collabo to try catch up, them things say, music and wrestling we get tag team so what he's trying to say in essence i'm not even going to cover it because everybody knows now right you know whiskey and born our boy their friends so that's what he's trying to say it's you know uh, trying to throw jabs low key but we know where he's headed to <laughs> okay guys moving on to the next one here we have a guy not just about relationship right who did a, a blood oath with his girlfriend people still do these things i don't believe in something like this if it happens that you know they break up is anybody going to die because yeah there's this um um story about blood oath like it must be together forever and all that like you know this person posted it on social media and said together forever congratulations to me and my girlfriend girlfriend not even fiance or wife moving on here we have the atm machine but this time it's not a machine it's human <laughs> human atm machine that's what i call it guys let me know what you think about this is it real do you believe it let's watch <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Moving on to the next one, still on relationship. <laughs> this lady, do you know what she did in the market? The guy proposed to her in the market and she refused to say yes. Simply because <laughs> the guy proposed to her in the market and she felt like that's not the appropriate place to propose. She, she, according to her, it is disrespectful. Is it a taboo? Is there something I don't... <laughs> understand here yeah, or let's watch this video. Are you mad? Why in the market? Why would you embarrass me like this? What is this supposed to be? Uh -uh. Stop now, you're embarrassing you. Why are you doing this to me? Diva, stop that! Stop! Can you fucking stand up? I said she stand up. Here we have a guy who almost killed himself because of a girl. Because the girl break up with him. Oh, you know first. The hard guy, hard guy, you this. You know first cry, you go go to social media again. You fuck fuck, why? You go go to social media. I deep, uh, see him. You write letter too. See him, man. Oh. <laughs> Guys, notice. <laughs> it seems like girls are the ones ruling now. Like, seriously, you know, they are the ones showing guys pepe. Um, here we have Tatcha saying, Tell these girls they don't need men to feel like a woman. Is it the, the influencers that give? or that gives these people the confidence to do what they are doing on, on social media or in their private life. I have no idea. But <laughs> another one, speaking about influencers, here we have um, Worry Pekin. She said there is more to being a man than to Sabi F. If you know, you know. Let's watch this. SMH, SMH. Hey, hey, Bobo. Area, eh? This is a message to some men. Look me here. Eh? There is more to being a man than to sabi. Eh? There is more to being a man than to get big pay. What did it happen? I've been privileged to have mentees. Eh? And when they tell me what they go through in their marriages, eh? I don't feel the digestion. Your wife cannot talk to you. And it's more you don't beat her, push her and go outside. Seize motor key, seize business what you do for her. They tell us, hey, you should be lucky I married you. You should be, who are you? Who are you? Enough of this, this uh, uh, king and slave mentality of marriage. Women are not slaves. Uh, the Bible says she should be submissive to me. Make the submission easy for her. You don't command respect, you earn it. What did it happen? We made it so far. There is more to being a man than to serve for. There is more. You gonna look your wife like 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 disposable cup. And this month you don't call your mama, you gonna disgrace your wife up on that. They call her a shower. And this month you don't beat them. They look at less less. What did they really they happen? Where they play? And then they call them. Hey, Oja. Here we have a 23 year old who kidnapped her ex boyfriend for dumping her. <laughs> The confidence with ladies they get today, you could the one that say where did they come from. <laughs> Let me quickly read what she said. I was introduced into kidnapping by my uncle called Amza from Butsa village, um, you know, in Zamfara State. And the first person we kidnapped was my ex-boyfriend who refused to marry me despite my efforts to get him convinced during our years of courtship. After he had dumped me, my uncle asked me to bring him so that we could hold him until he pays money before we could release him. When, he, we, when we kidnapped him, his family paid 5 million naira to secure his release or his freedom and out of that amount, I was given 800,000 
thousand. Can you imagine? Eight hundred thousand naira was given to you, not even up to a million naira. Poverty is like. <laughs> Uh, well, let me continue. Which which I rented that house at Jabba Quarters. That's what she said. Guys, let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Next one. Here we have BB Ninja's Alex, the former Big Brother Ninja housemate. She said that, uh, you know, the last time she was in a relationship was in 2018 and she can't marry a short man concluded the whole thing by saying that if she doesn't find love um she will have her kids through artificial insemination let's watch that's what you're saying man that's what i'm saying i'm not no since i met you have you see give love a chance ah jesus let it rain no 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 he has to be tall sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry that is where the problem no that no no has made for no, you. No, no, be no, my, no. Uh, my then, God, then, that maybe he would steal my heart. For now, nobody here at the shelter has been able to steal my heart. But I'm, yeah. Nathan, I'm serious. I'm not what even saying the person is my love. I'm, 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 I'm not even looking for it. That is what I see. <laughs> The way he had to shut her, you know, you are not ready. Well, I'm Nathan, I'm serious. I'm not what even saying the person is my love. Five I'm not even looking for it. That is what I see. Love will find you. The person is my love will find you. The person is close to your heart. Are you mad? So close. She said my heart. What kind of long distance relationship is that? Jesus. Did she just call her all her long distance relationship? No, that's that's number one. Please. No. That is where the problem is. No, don't say, don't in tell me that. that don't bother. Don't, don't, let me just go and do artificial uh, insemination. Have my children and know like right that I'm now, not married. My... Moving on to the next news. Here's a guy who said nobody should compare me to Rema. Guys, they said he looks like Rema. You to judge. Let's watch. Hey, on oh God. So niggas, niggas actually be on my comments saying, oh. You look like Rema, Rema's younger brother, Rema's this, Rema's that. Hey, y'all stop playing with me on God. I don't look like no Rema nigga. Y'all mind what you say. I don't look like no bitch ass boy. I look like my fucking self. Y'all stop playing with me. I don't look like no Rema nigga on God. I don't want to hear that shit from y'all again. I don't look like no bitch ass boy. I look like me. I look like fucking me on God. <laughs> Moving on, here we have Don Jazzy. Don Jazzy finally signs the 18 year old um, artist, a female artist, to Maven Records. Her name is Ira Star. Congratulations to her, by the way. Maven Records, you know, is a good record label. Moving on to the next news. Here we have an actress who said, um, How can you use one location to shoot over 30 to 50 movies? Is it scarcity of locations or low budgeting? I see this happening a lot with our Asaba movies and I have not been able to understand if we are growing or sliding back. 2021 and we're still making movies that look like Tales by Moonlight kind of production. Film making is serious business and must be treated as such. Repeated location devalues film production and in most cases, the thing is, guys, we must also think about those who have the money to do the movies. I mean, a lot of these producers are not sophisticated or like, you know, some of them struggle to even get that 2 million or 5 million, you know, they want to use to do the movie and they want to recoup the money. And those people who have the money and also could think outside of the box are very few. So I think that is what is going on. It still boils down to the fact that, you know, Nollywood has no money. There's no, like, much money in Nollywood. That's just what is going on. Here we have this guy have a message for these celebrities. Let's watch. If you be celeb or well-known person for Nigeria, then you can't drink, drive any, or go get accidents. Can't they toss him more pray for you? Now, Ogun ain't go kill you. Moving on. Here we have Biden, Joe Biden. Now, for those of you eh, that your pastor prophesied that, you know, Joe Biden uh, wasn't going to win the U.S. presidential election, I think it is time for you to change your church. By the way, I'm just kidding. Right? This guy got in and the first thing he did, or one of the first things he did was to lift that ban, that travel ban Trump plays on Nigeria. <laughs> Biden cancelled travel ban on Nigeria, um, Tanzania, Eritrea, and others. Um, guys, Buari here 
said that he's looking forward to working with President Biden and his vice. Always looking forward to working with them. And he didn't stop there. He said he worked with them to tackle terrorism and poverty. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe you should start depending on your own self or your, on your own team. Because working with people, working with this way has never worked. Seriously. And who are even the terrorists? If we have to talk about terrorism here, they call the NSAS, you know, protesters, they call them terrorists. The, the, the NSAS protest frontliners, they call them terrorists. And Boko Haram is there killing every day. This just remind me, I saw a video recently on social media where this area boy was heard threatening this um, lady or one of the NSAS frontliners. And it's just so sad to see something like that. Who do you want well, to talk to? Hello, I'm hearing you. Moving on, here we have a lady crying because of Trump, a strong Trump supporter. <laughs> President Trump. <laughs> If you see this, please save us. <laughs> I don't even see our American flag anymore. Biden's talking with some kind of crazy flag. This is America. This is our land. Please, President Trump. Please, please. I hope you have a plan. <laughs> God, please save us. Save us from the devil, please. <laughs> Y'all are about to have a panic attack. <laughs> this is our country. Our country. This is awful. God, please save us, please. And of course, you know our Nigerian people. Sure enough, they are sure a bee. Bolu Okupe, son of former presidential aide, doing Okupe, comes out as gay. He says here, yes, I'm gay as F. Moving on, here we have Udamoro, um, the, the Kenyan socialite. She said, people who hate on rich kids blame your parents for not planning and being lazy and thinking children are blessings. Kids are not a blessing. They are a burden if you can't afford them do you agree with that okay guys that is where i'm going to hold it thank you so much for watching and guys don't forget to like subscribe to see you next time peace